Look at this road. Isn't this incredible? Hello, hello, DRock here. Welcome to the channel. I like figuring out loop rides, and I think the Great Basin Loop is a fantastic one. This is the first of two videos documenting that trip. Starting from St. George, Utah, I ride north to Baker, Nevada, mostly on the dirt, for this first video. I will be heading up on the east side to do the first half of this loop, which will circumnavigate Great Basin National Park. Both the east and west sides of this loop have plenty of dirt options, and on the first day, I focus on that, riding dirt. I had figured I could ride from St. George, Utah, all the way to Great Basin National Park on the dirt, and I was correct. As I mentioned in most of my videos, the southwestern United States, off the asphalt, is a giant spider web of dirt roads, paths, ATV tracks, etc. And this route would take me 200 miles from St. George, Utah to Baker, Nevada, pretty much all on the dirt. My ride for this trip would be my Honda CRF 300L, and I also use the Gaia app for offline, no service navigation. So please join me as I head out on this 450 mile loop into the Great Basin Desert for some awesome riding. Whew. Okay, I'm 100 miles deep at this point, and um, I'm picking up where I left off on the previous video, which I put up a couple weeks ago, heading north into the wind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this loop where I'm going to circumnavigate Great Basin National Park in Nevada. I've come up from St. George, Utah, and like I mentioned, thus far I am at 100 miles, and the majority of that's been on the dirt. I didn't bother recording it because it's already on the previous video. So from this point on, I'll be recording. And I initially thought I was going to go up above Great Basin, cut over, and then camp. But I may just go ahead and camp on the eastern side of the park. I'm not sure. Um, I can't. I don't have any uh, gas stations, or it's just there's nothing, as far as I know, from this point all the way up to Baker, Nevada. I'll be crossing from the Utah desert into the Nevada desert in about, I think 18 miles from here. I think that's what the sign said. Yeah, 18 miles to the, the Utah Nevada border. So uh, my next stop for gas would probably be the town of Baker, which is a really tiny town outside Great Basin National Park. Uh, I can get gas there. There's, you know, restaurants and it's a really tiny town, really cool little town, but I can gas up there. I am currently well over the half tank on the uh, 300L, but I've also got, I've got a one gallon roto packs and I've got three uh, bottles of gas. So I think I got plenty of gas to get me to Baker. So I'm not worried about that. But late spring now. So down South when I left, uh, I think the high today was like 90 or something, but around Baker, it's supposed to be the mid seventies. So I've come up in elevation, which is good because I have to, I got to start riding high, higher elevations to, to pass the summer out here. It's just, yeah, no bueno in the lower desert. So uh, this will be part of it. Um, if you've never been to Great Basin National Park, it is fantastic. Beautiful. Comes out of the lower desert all the way up above 10,000 feet. Wheeler Peak there. Just incredible area. And it gets doesn't get the visitation like, say, Zion or the Grand Canyon gets. So it's pretty chill. Anyway, I thought I'd throw that in. But uh, I need to get back on the dirt. 
and head north. So let's go. Awesome day for a ride. Wondering about that weather though. I'm not wondering too hard, but I didn't bring any rain gear. <laughs> so it said perfectly clear and sunny, but uh, you know how it goes. Anything's possible in the late spring, I guess, especially coming off those, those higher mountains and Great Basin. So uh, hopefully, hopefully if it does rain, it's gonna stick up to uh, the mountains, but um, uh, we'll see. The dirt road uh, on this stretch is pretty chill. Mostly hard packed, got some light gravel on the surface, but it's not bad at all. I can pretty much cruise between 30 and 40 miles per hour down this thing with that much worries. Uh, I don't know what terrain I'll, I'll run into, but presumably I imagine the road's gonna be similar to this all the way up to Great Basin. I don't know. Uh, it's all new to me from this point, so uh, we're gonna find out. All right, what you up to, little guy? Which way are you gonna go? You gonna go in front of me? Yep. Go on. All right, I'm almost to the Nevada border. Yeah, I just got through a little squall. No big deal. A little rain here and there is no problem. I just hope we uh, don't get caught in some torrential rain. Dang, I can't believe I forgot the rain gear. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, man. Looking pretty. Pretty weathery up there around the Great Basin area. Hmm. Well, it's early afternoon, so maybe it'll play out and it'll be a clear night. Who knows? Okay, we're at the half tank mark. I still should have plenty of gas to at least get me to Baker. And saying I'm getting uh, roughly 70 gallons. I'm sorry, 70 miles, 70 gallons. 70 miles to the gallon, so. Should be good to go before I have to dump anything in the tank. Yeah, this is amazing views out here. stop and get some water but look at this <laughs> it's just nothing but desert and mountains I'm the only person out here the Indian bike for miles look at all that country so over to the west here directly to my left this is the fortification mountains if I'm not mistaken just up here Great Basin National Park, the distance. I'm gonna go ahead and ride on to Baker and uh, gas up, maybe get a Coke or something. And then I'm gonna come back down and check out an area I may be interested in camping. I still got, I don't know, I got six, six and a half hours before the sun even gets low. So I got plenty of time, but it's been an amazing ride. Just thought-provoking you know I have I've seen just a handful of vehicles and they've looked at me like I'm from from outer space or something I'm like what the hell is this guy doing out here got some pretty strange looks um but it's vast and wide open it's incredible all right I'm not far from Baker now 20 miles maybe Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. <laughs> but uh, I've got to uh, get back on the pavement. Mm, I don't know, in 10 miles or so. I'm guesstimating that, by the way. 
So I got it to get on some different roads for a second. And then I'll get on the pavement, run up to Baker, top off, and then I'll head back down again to check out an area that looks kind of interesting to camp. And it's going to be in the east side of the park there. Um, still a little not worried about the weather, just kind of keeping an eye on it. If I were to stay out here tonight, I would have no problems, but I want to get a little closer to the hills there to camp. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll just, we'll get to Baker and go from there. Well, I gotta admit, uh, this probably wouldn't be that fun of a ride in the middle of the summer, because when I stop in this area, it's pretty warm. Pretty warm right now. Uh, moving, not so bad, but uh, in the middle of June, July, August, probably not a good time to ride out here. Uh, I mean, you could, but uh, it, would, it might be slightly uncomfortable with the heat because we are kind of low in the basin here. Okay, well, looks like it's my only option. I was just checking the route, so I'll stay on this road. This is going to take me all the way to the pavement and then shortly into Baker, so not bad. Oh, there it is. There's the asphalt. All right. Well, well, well. Okay, Baker is to the west there. Look at, oh man, you got, I'm pretty sure the camera's not gonna pick it up that great, but look at these views of the mountains. And it's just beautiful. So um, I am at a uh, quarter tank of gas now, and I'm thinking, I'm hoping I can make it to Baker. I got a bottle right here. Uh, I'm going to ride down. I think I can make it. <laughs> if not, oh well. But, uh, man, what a fantastic ride on the dirt. Let's get to Baker and we'll take it from there. Made it to Baker. And ran out of gas. So, that's good. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm in Garrison right now. Baker's not too much farther past Garrison. I don't think there's any gas in Garrison, but that's all right. I can push on through and get to Baker. I think, not 100% sure. Not a whole lot going on here in Garrison. They actually have a post office, huh? Wow. Yeah, not, uh, not a whole lot going on at all. Yeah, no gas in Garrison. It is eight miles to Baker. I think I'm gonna make it. 13 miles to Great Basin National Park proper. That's it over to my left there. Eight miles to gas. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. All right, now we're in Baker. Look at that view. Woo, man, I could almost live here. Wow. Welcome to Baker, Nevada. Absolutely. Yeah, this is looking a little more uh, upbeat than old Garrison. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, God. Fantastic. All right, baby. Looks like it's working too. Sweet. Full tank. Find a beverage. And I'll head back and find a place to camp. I know there's a little store in this town. Might be it right up here. General store. I think that's what I'm looking for. 
groceries, gear, and good books. Well, all right. I think this is my place. Okay. Let's go ahead back and find some place to camp. <clears throat> now that I got a full tank of gas, I am good to go. There's some pretty funky weather off to the west. Hopefully the mountains, uh, tacos and burritos right, right there. Hmm. Um, hopefully the mountains block it and I don't get any of it. I'm gonna go back a few miles and see what I can run into. There's, uh, God, what was the name? I think it was Monkey Campground or something looked interesting, but there's also uh, something looked pretty cool off in this area as well. The first campground area is somewhere up in there against the uh, the mountains there, but there's also something to head off into those hills that look pretty interesting. So either way, uh, I've got some place to go. Okay, where I'm going is way back up in here, uh, Snake Creek Canyon. Some signage here. Do not follow your GPS. No visitor center, no outlet. Okay, park boundary is a few miles in. Do not follow your GPS. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. <clears throat> this looks pretty cool back here. Except the weather. The weather doesn't look really cool at all. Looks like it could have a torrential thunderstorm. Mm, son of a gun. Well, I could go around it, but I'm still a rule player. <laughs> Closed for season. That's all right. That's all right. I could actually camp right up here outside the park. So. I guess it is still a little early. I don't, know, I don't know why, it's almost June. Well, it's mid-May. We'll go down here and have a look. All right, let's go have a look up in here. What we got going on? road going here. Oh yeah. Camp anywhere you want. Oof. I got a little too much pine tree on that slap. Damn. Oh yeah, this is a pretty chill spot. some options all right well there's some options here but kind of want to go back down the road and have a look at that other spot so I'm going to do that it's gonna get me a little lower in elevation once again it's gonna be warmer it's nice up here but I'm uh, wondering about that rain. It's looking pretty, pretty interesting over there. So I'm gonna head back down and I still got plenty of daylight left and see what else I can find. Ooh, man. Yeah, it's 
it's looking rough out there. So I was going to cut west initially, but I'm going to stay on this side for the night. That's some uh, interesting weather. Actually, I'm glad I'm not staying back up in there. I'm going to head over here to the East Hills. So if all this weather crosses this valley here, hopefully uh, <laughs> it, it works its way out and uh, evaporates before it gets to me in there. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, there it is. Very quick stop. Nobody coming behind me? Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, now we're talking. I'm liking this. This looks pretty good. Let those mountains take the brunt of that weather and hopefully I can be cool and clear over here. Well, it's raining. It's raining. It smells pretty good out here. It's just a squall, nothing too serious. I'm just, you know, trees out here <laughs> to like take cover under. I was hoping I can get back here and see some right in there, but eh, maybe, maybe I can ride up in there. I don't know, but. Hmm. Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Make sure I'm not going to get in any, any trouble. Right down here. Well, there's the rain. That's not too bad. Yeah, that spot wasn't too great. <laughs> Could try something else. It get me out of the rain for a second, but you know, it's already passed, so get those big squalls in the distance to come over and uh should be good to go, I would think. I don't know. I'm gonna head down a little farther and see what we see. I think I might have found my spot. Right in between these two junipers. There's a bit of cow crap in here, but I can kick that out, but uh, this would give me some protection. It's a level spot, level. And uh, I get a little protection for the bike. And it just happens to be a really awesome looking area. Yeah, I think this will work out just fine. All right, I'm gonna hunker down. I just checked the weather and uh, it's about 5 p.m. In an hour, it's about a 40% chance of rain right here, like heavy rain. <laughs> so, it is what it is, but this is my best spot in the area. I don't want to go up into the high elevations and get up in the pass up there. So, I don't know what it looks like on the western side, and it's already late enough. So, this is it for the day. I'm going to park it right here. I've got good cover right here in between these junipers. I'll just pitch the tent so if anything comes down, no worries. And uh, like I said, I, I forgot all my rain gear, so it is what it is. But uh, this is uh, this should be pretty cool. This should be no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. All right, it's supposed to get here and. Not too much longer, another 30 minutes or so. <clears throat> Hopefully, I uh, can ride it out in this little little juniper pocket. <laughs> I think it'll be just fine. It's cooled it off really nice, man. It was hot out here in the lower elevation. Uh, I'm glad I didn't go up higher because uh, this will be a really comfortable night. And then it's not so much um, being cold at night, it's getting up and packing the bike when it's freezing cold. I hate that. So that's not going to be a big deal tomorrow morning. Well, it shouldn't be anyway. I don't know. It might, it might get cold. But anyway, yeah. So uh, tents up, everything's set up uh, for the most part. I'm just going to chill and uh, see what happens. 
Well, it looks like it's playing out. Still some squalls over there, but I think we're gonna make it. So that sun's about to drop. We're gonna go up and have a look. And then it's time to uh, boil up some water for a tasty dinner. <laughs> dinner is served usual nice mountain house oh yeah I think I'm going to survive the night and be rain free it looks like it's cleared up so cheers to that oh yeah cheers folks all right it's played itself out it's looking good out here I think I'm in the clear. So I'm gonna go uh, whip up some tea and that'll be it. All right, heating up some water for some tea. It's pretty buggy out here. Man, a pack of coyotes just started raising hell. Literally just not far from, <laughs> from the tent. So, yeah, hopefully they don't come sniffing around sometime tonight. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them out there. Coyotes, that is. Yeah, they're going to be raising hell all night. I love it. <laughs> I think it's awesome when I hear them. In the tent, finally. So I am exhausted. I'm going to do a little reading. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this now because I'm probably just going to fall asleep while I'm reading. Awesome day of riding. At this point, I'm just over 200 miles from St. George. Uh, majority of that's on the dirt. Awesome day of riding, like I just said. Just fantastic. Um, storms are played out. I don't think I'm going to have any problem tonight. Uh, maybe some coyotes raising hell. That's about it. So I'm planning for an uneventful night. But I will see you in the morning. So, D-Rock out. Buenas noches.